Asia and Mia are doing a duet this weekend entitled Move You Too. Asia has an over-the-top personality, especially when she steps out on stage. And the only other performer that I think of is a drag queen. They're just that over-the-top persona. They're bigger than life. And that's what I want Nia to be. I'm really excited Nia and Asia had this duet this week. They look really great together. But this is the first time they had a duet, and so I know they're going to need to run it a few times before they go on stage. They're not going on. The duo's not going not on. Not yet. We got to get moving. But we'll come back to for the duet? Yes. Because they didn't have a chance to get pinned. Like, they just, they're not finished getting dressed. Maddie and Chloe Solos are coming up next, and we're all rushing to try to get out of the room. But we haven't run Nia and Asia's duet yet, and I'm getting really nervous. All right, our next entry is number 44. All of a sudden, I hear the competition announce that the duet is up next. And there were supposed to be 14 numbers between Asia and Nia's duet and Maddie's solo. Asia and Nia never had a chance to rehearse a duet. You have to go back for a duet. Come on. You guys. They didn't even run the duet. I think they ran it backstage. No, yeah. they did not. In this duet, Nia has this extremely difficult lift with Asia where she picks her up over her head. She hasn't even had a chance to practice it. They haven't even stretched. They are totally unprepared. We didn't even warm up or anything. We didn't practice at all. And that's not fair to Asia and I. One, two, one, two, three, four. I've got something to tell you when I think you are. looking pretty good. Was it their best? No, but Nia was able to lift Asia with no difficulty, so I'm pretty happy with that. What I'm not happy with is with Abby. She was reckless and she totally was unprepared with rehearsing those girls before they went on stage. They weren't stretched. They weren't stretched. They weren't stretched. I can tell they weren't stretched. Being yeah. in a costume does not mean that you're ready to perform. Well, I agree. Yeah. There was time for the girls to rehearse and she didn't use that time. Hey, 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 hey! What? It's quiet in here. Who told the girls to go on if there were like 14 numbers? What? And they did never practice in their costume like everybody else. They didn't even run anything. They didn't even stretch. Most importantly, they weren't warmed up. Regardless, the ability to adapt quickly to change, that's, they need to be on that. Because when your kid goes to an audition, they could be number 185 and 183 and 184 dropped out. And your kid's saying, well, wait a minute, I have six more minutes before I step out there to do my audition. No, you don't. When you're in an audition, you just need to be ready. And that's a fact. I was worried about the lift. That the lift that. was great. They practiced the lift backstage. What else did they do that required all this warm up? A round up back handspring. Well, a back handspring, since you know everything, Dr. Holly, is done with a straight back. But it's not funny or cute to throw a kid on stage and them not be warmed up. Once again, Abby deflects the blame and turns this all into a lesson about being prepared. Regardless, 
This lesson could have been disastrous. Abby's lucky that the duet performed as well as they did. We have our top overall energy petite duet trio in third place on Broadway. And second place, follow the leader. And our top overall energy petite duet trio, Move You Two. I'm so proud of Mia. The duet came in first place, and they didn't want to dance once. They adapted to the situation, and they persevered. And I hope this shows Abby that Mia can tackle any situation that comes her way.